welcome to this short series of uh, video tutorials focusing on condition controlled iteration in other words we call them while loops so I'm going to start off really simply now most while loops will need a variable as a control it's a condition yeah the condition is usually um, deployed by a variable of some kind so I'm going to start off with num equals zero so I've assigned my variable I've called it num and I've given it the value to start with now we can see on the screen that Repel um, fairly recently has decided that it will um, join the AI Act. But I don't want Repel to do this for me. I want to be able to do it. So I've set my variable. Now I need to set my while loop condition. So while, remember every while loop starts with while. And the variable to control it is num. And what I want my while loop to do in this scenario is, let's put in the colon, while the value of the variable num is less than 5, do something. Now don't forget your structure, your syntax, while variable boolean controller, in this case it's less than, and then a 5, the value that it will be condition controlled against, and the colon of course. And what I want it to do, every time it runs, I want it to increase the value of the variable num. So the first time it runs it will become 1, the second time it will be 2, Every time it does that, it will go back to line 3, the while condition, and check is it less than 5. And then what I want my code to do at the, as it's going through is print, here we go, the value of num. So what have we got? We've got four lines of code. Set the variable, set the while loop condition, do something, yeah, a process, or in this case just increase the value of num, and then print the value of num out. Let's run it to see what happens. So run... Now I've called the file 1, there we go, and we can see in the blink of an eye, it prints out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then drops out of the loop. Great, so that's a very, very simple condition controlled while loop.